couple of things to add to the, the Fox. Now the Fox is the kind of like what I consider the beginner rifle to get back into our competition and target shooting. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what what you can do with something which is basically pretty pretty basic. Also uh, rather excellent for the money. Uh, I managed to get this simply by selling a couple of couple of studio units. Um, what I'm going to do, this is the point, I've got this tripod, uh, well it's called a bipod, and that, and the idea of that is going to go on the end here. The bipod had to arrive, the mount had to arrive, and then this bit at the top here had to arrive, which is called a Picatinny rail, which is a pretty good design. It's solid metal, it's a bit like a standard tripod uh, mount. It's a bit like the Arca Swiss arrangement for cameras whereas you can use that bit uh, that bit there to uh, choose what rail you want so if you go for the middle one so you you know you'd use like go in like that and then that clamps in and it's it's in place so that is going to go on there so that be like that okay before that attach picatinny rail onto the front of the stock it's already got a, a shape pressed into the synthetic stock which incidentally saves about 300 pounds on this gun. BSA basically have been making these sort of things for a long 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 time and they were bought out by a company uh, who also bought out, it was Gamo or Gamo was a company that they formed from their other, this is the advantage of um, owning a number of companies you can pull the resources of a number of companies together that were previously not communicating and actually produce something that is uh, brings more people into the market it does wonderful things for the sport or hobby or whatever you want to call it and makes things possible so it's, you know that is a positive side of um, mergers and <laughs> buyers and, uh, buyouts and things good for the consumer sometimes uh, sometimes anyway so what I've understood from research is that when the stock comes off, which comes off quite simply by two Allen keys here, the whole action just pulls out, leaving the stock on its own, which is very light. That's actually hollow, this bit. Um, some people, uh, when they're using th synthetic stocks, unlike solid wood, it gives you the um, possibility of changing the balance so if for instance you once you've got it kitted out and you've got your different items on there I mean, this isn't going to be a competition rifle at the end of the day this is a practice rifle and this will be going to somebody else um, a competition rifle that I'll get together will probably be based on something quite different so that uh, is in the future once the other items are on it which will basically be the bipod it will be the bipod at the front there it's already got a couple of measure things there. The sight is going to be different. Um, and then we've got these three, uh, they're called swivels. Um, one will go, I probably, around about here. Uh, and that will be a single point swivel with the idea of having just a, a single point strap. So basically the whole thing hangs around the neck, but, you know, sort of at that kind of angle. It will be that side if it was right-handed, but this is going to be left-handed. It will sort of hang like that. Um, or, and the other two um, are to go, that one and that one. Them two, those two there, one will probably go here, or maybe at the top. Maybe at the top there. I'll have a look. Once I've got the stock off, I'll have a look how thick the plastic is. There is actually some mounting um, uh, points uh, for screws inside that you can't see it from the outside. So probably one there for the uh, twin uh, swivel mounts for the dual strap and probably another one, I'm not sure, somewhere around here or so. I was actually thinking of this is hollow. So I'm thinking of cutting, cutting this out that butt comes off at the back, um, cutting this out and having an openable, a bit like the bottom of a, of a Canon camera, we'd take the battery out and that will come open there, I could have a little container in there full of pellets or something else or even tools, you could, have, you could actually have your entire toolkit, this is an idea I've got, in the hollow stock there and a, a source of ammo there, so and you've got all the tools for maintenance and 
and also an ammo supply built into the same thing not having to carry bags and pouches around your neck and stuff so anyway that's the idea so the project is to get um, the stock off have a look at the inside uh, mount the Picatinny rail on the front there like that mount the single point strap uh, point there and mount the twin swivel points at whatever point feels appropriate when this strap is around my neck now these connectors here won't go through there so they're going to have to be like a ring now these are a bit on the large side but they'll do to for uh, proof of concept that will go through there and then the uh, strap uh, carabiner kind of thing will go on there it's not a carabiner but okay so with that I shall give Zena a light back thank you very much for the loan of your LED light I guess you still want white Right, okay. right so basically this is the um, so the gamo gamo fox here it's a 2-2 PCP uh, got a few things to attach to it we've got this Picatinny rail uh, here which is uh, just a five um, five section two inches I think I think it's two inch a uh, couple of screws for that I'm not sure if they're going to be <coughs> big enough uh, also got <coughs> got a swivel uh, they're called swivels but they don't actually swivel uh, that one is going to be probably that's going to be going probably around about there after the stock comes off uh, for a single loop uh, for a single loop strap to go round this is a double loop, uh, double attachment, double point, two point strap. So I'll probably have one going in there and the other one going at the back, maybe at the stock there, I think, maybe. Attach over there perhaps. But anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. The first thing I want to do um, is attach this bipod. Uh, and to do that, I need to attach this Picatinny rail. So to start with, we're going to take the stock off, uh, which is easy to do just by undoing two Allen screws, Allen bolts, one there and one just at the rear of the trigger. The whole th assembly, the action, comes out along with the trigger, away from the stock. Yeah, so that com whole comes out. <laughs> Uh, revealing the stock and as you can see there's already a pre-pressed uh, section there and on the inside we've got positions we've got position there with a screw and a position there with a screw and spaces to be able to put that so basically I've got to attach that onto here somehow now I'm not sure if I'm going to utilise this bit here with the raised area or just go through the but then again I've also got to attach one of these swivels up here so I'm thinking maybe use that for the swivel I'll use that for the swivel and have this further down here maybe so, um, and then here's the action. Another interesting thing is on here, this plastic bit comes out uh, and there is enough space in here, in this bit, to get that screw in with a single. I'll have to cut that bolt, make it shorter, but there's enough space in there to go in there to make sure that it clears any of that business. Uh, this bit fits over there, like that. Interestingly enough, this is where the 
uh, adjuster for the pressure is that has to be drilled out that nylon bit there you can see that but that nylon bit there would have to be drilled out and then there's a screw in there to adjust adjust the uh, adjust adjust the pressure with the stock we're going to have to drill out some of these um, holes here for the Picatinny rail and some of the swivels drill out this hole here Yeah, that should do it, because after that, that should screw into the pillar. This pillar here, it's already moulded into the, into the stock. So use both of those. Put that back in. Yeah, so that's not going to come in touch with the, with the barrel, so that's a good thing. Well, way too big. But just for now, just to remind me what's what and to try out the top of the strap and the weight and the positioning I'm just going to put that on there for the minute there'll be a smaller one of those for the strap attachment like that so the next thing is now the Picatinny rail Be on the right side, so that basically goes over over here. Uh, you can go over. Oh, you've got five different positions, so that goes in the middle. So you basically put it on whatever one you want, and then lock it in. And there we have it. So once you've got the bipod uh, fitted, you can work on the gun without having to fiddle about with it on the floor. From that position, you can easily lock those up like that in that position or lock them down into that position depending on you know what's easier for carrying what's easier for carrying and and the other thing is of course you have the extension so you can bring that up to quite a height Uh, next job is to fit the single point uh, mount on, um, on on here. What we're going to make sure is that the the mechanism doesn't touch anything. It goes there, so that point there would be fine. Drill there. So to get this through there, right. let's tighten that. And get the other ring from the old camera strap because I replaced these straps with Peak Design straps and connectors on both cameras. I've got one on the seven set on the seven fifty and set on the six D. So then that go. These are real, just temporary. Like I said earlier on, it they're too big. But just for now, I think that looks all right. So I think time is to get this back on, remount the action, and see what we've got. The other job I was going to do was to adjust the trigger, but I need to get hold of a new screw, a longer screw to um, extend the length to the sears. So I can't do that at the moment. I'm pleased with that. Right, let's see how the cant is. I'm just looking at on the back here, I've got spirit levels on the gun and the scope. So the cant on the gun is fine given a little bit of movement in the bipod but the one on the scope needs 
serious adjustment. So I think we'll call that a day. I think that's uh, that's it for now.